I'm Professor Roger Jones. I'm head of the Lancaster Group on the ATLAS experiment, which is at the Large Hadron Collider out in CERN in Geneva. And we're trying to look at the fundamental low-lying processes that govern physics, that govern our universe. We had to build a detector, which is underground out in Geneva, which is over five stories high and weighs 7,000 tons. And here in Lancaster, we were part of the team that built something right at the heart of that detector, which is the uh, silicon tracking detector that measures the paths of the charged particles after the collisions. We were involved in the startup of the accelerator back in 2008 when this huge accelerator uh, worked for the first time and we saw the first collisions and the first data coming out. Since then we've been taking data at a great rate and we've made some quite exciting discoveries. The big discovery we were involved with was the observation of the so-called Higgs boson. And the Higgs boson is the particle that's associated with the mechanism that gives all of the fundamental particles their masses, which was a huge problem in terms of physics for many years. But of course, that isn't the end of the story. There are many other questions that the Large Hadron Collider is trying to address. One that particularly interests me and is the focus of a lot of my work is the question why the universe is made up of matter. Because in the early universe, all of the processes that we know, all of the physics that we know, essentially says that you should produce matter and antimatter in equal quantities. And somehow, that antimatter has gone away. Now, the process by which that goes away involves a thing called CP violation. And we've been looking to try and measure the amount of CP violation that we can observe by looking at decays of particles that contain what's called the bottom or beauty quark. So we call these B hadrons. Now, people often ask me, what's the point of doing all of these experiments? The honest answer I would give as to why I do it is because I think that we're answering some of the most profound questions that you can ask. Where we come from, how our universe uh, runs the way that it does, and eventually what is the destination of that universe. And I think that's a really important set of questions to address, and I think it culturally enriches us if we know the answers. Equally, if we make discoveries that tell you about supersymmetry or the structure of space and time, Every time we've made a discovery like that in the past, it's led to major practical applications. Of course, there are direct benefits of doing the particle physics that we are doing, because the techniques we need to do these experiments require us to push many technologies to their limits. And those technologies are now being taken further and used in the clouds that you may have heard of. The tracking detectors that measure the paths of the charged particles we produce those technologies have benefits in terms of medical imaging and we've actually been working on developments of the pixel detectors that, uh, that we developed for the experiments which have the potential when fused to the back of a retina to give limited degrees of vision back to people who have profound blindness. So this is all very exciting as well as technologies like positron emission tomography and radiation therapy with proton beams, which all come out of the technologies that we developed out at CERN to do particle physics experiments.